Digital government has been top of mind for nations globally as they navigate the pace of change and technological advancements. That was reflected at the 8th edition of the World Government Summit in Dubai. The event, which hosts high-ranking government officials from over 140 countries, had an agenda focused on shaping a better future. Technology has been um, uh, enabling humanity for a while now and uh, we try to utilize technology to improve services and uh, make it simple on users. Uh, with technology, we are able to uh, augment user effort and allow technology to do things on behalf of the customer. Uh, we are trying to bundle services, make them simple, reduce the steps on customers, make sure that they get what they want in much shorter time. In the UAE Digital Government Strategy 2025, there's clearly defined KPIs with ambitious targets, such as having 100% of services digitized by 2023. We are working on uh, a concept that we call proactive services. We're using AI uh, to enable services to be delivered on behalf of the customers without them requesting for it. So with customer journeys and with us knowing about the customer needs and their persona, we are able to predict what they want and deliver services before they ask for it. The purpose of digitization is no longer just about readying governments for current and future challenges, but offering us as users and citizens access to more fluid services that make our lives easier. The term invisible technology is becoming increasingly popular in the digital sphere. You should not feel the deployment or the use of technology in your life. What you should see is a exponential improvement in the quality of service. We believe that infusing artificial intelligence in the government means pervasive use of technology. You will have proactive service delivery. You will have the best quality output that will make you feel like the government understands you, that it feels you, that it serves tailored-made services for you specifically as an individual. That is the impact of AI in your life. So how do such advancements affect us in reality? Dubai has appointed an advisor to view this from the end user's perspective. What I actually pay attention to mostly is making sure that we look at people's needs in the city and translate technology to fit those needs. The pandemic has shown us the need for that efficiency in connection and also how data and the movement of information are critical to provide the services at the, the best benefit uh, and the services for people in, in, in the world. And specifically cities, if they want to compete with each other, they need to do that as most efficiently as possible. But also pay attention to people's well-being in the city. It's not just about economic well-being. For citizens and entrepreneurs, digital access is a way of life in Estonia, with almost all government services online, from voting to setting up businesses and signing official documents. Our idea is to make the government more seamless, proactive and user-centric. So as part of that, we try to eliminate and automate as much uh, different tasks as possible. Of course, as part of that, there is also digitalization. So for instance, one of the latest initiatives that we are right now developing is called Bureaucrat, which is citizen AI virtual assistant. Dr. Raymond Corey is the author of the UAE Government of the Future 2022 report. He says countries that fail to move forward will get left behind. In the report, we highlight what are the key building blocks to become, in our view, the government of the future. And it transcends digital technologies. There's a myth that if you deploy digital technologies in government, uh, you become a digital government, which is not the case. Uh, it has to start from the top. You have to have the, the bold leadership, uh, the bold strategies um, that go beyond digitizing your services. You have to have a disruptive change in the business model, uh, government as usual. During the World Government Summit, Dubai Municipality announced they would be pushing their digital presence further by entering the metaverse. They'll collaborate with the private sector to create a futuristic, human-centered version of the city that capitalizes on opportunities offered by the metaverse.